Harvard, probably the best university in the world, but are they any good at tennis? Today we found out as we faced them on our home court for the second year in a row. On paper they were good, ranked number 10 in the country, so it was definitely going to be tough. Well, let's find out if aside from studying, Harvard is any good at tennis. And that was also on court 3 again, but this time I was playing with Chris Papa, who usually plays number 1. We had an injured guy pull out of the lineup, so some partners changed, but nonetheless we were looking to do some damage. We're facing a breakpoint on Deuce here, and this point is just really unlucky, starting with the net court and then the next ball. So not the best start as we're down a break, but we get back at it this point of our return winner. To make it equal though, we're once again facing breakpoints, and we thought we finished the point with this half overhead, but they climb up and put this ball in play. All I have to do is close the smash though, and I miss it. I wasn't playing too well this doubles, I was also a bit nervous for some reason, I was honestly being mostly carried. Yet another deuce point here and this mix in the net by them gives us a big hit. Fast forward to several holds each and we find ourselves 5 all. And I'm more into the match now and I'm actually even winning some points for us, like I do here. Big break by chance and he puts it right at the feet so unfortunately the chance is gone. We get to the tie break nonetheless and it's all on serve until this back and cross goes into the net and gives them the mini ball. At 6-3 down I serve to the guys foreign and the volley goes wide, costing us the match and the doubles court as we were 1-1 on the other courts. In singles I was actually moved to court 3 today, not sure why, maybe matchups or wrist issues, not too sure. Anyway I was facing Ronan Jacob who was absolutely destroying me in juniors one time and was now UTR 13.25. I start off with a chance to break him here on deuce point and it would indeed be a sweet start of the match. He misses the foreign and I'm 1-0 up. I knew he was not the best mover despite having good ground strokes so my plan was to really move him around until he hit shorts and then come forward. I hope to go behind him with the volley and that pays off as he doesn't expect it. I hold quite comfortably so I'm just looking to potentially break him again now. I get a chance for the inside in and go for it and afterwards I get the volley on the stretch. It's 30 all and the strategy is always the same. Just hit foreign from everywhere. I'm forced to hit a backhand here so I slice it obviously. And then we're back on foreign domination. This one line should have won me the point, but I guess I'll have to wait one more ball. I go inside in, and then this volley somehow ends up on the line. Two break points then, and I'm a bit more cautious that I am on big points because he's been missing a little bit. So I'm just seeing if there's any chance he would again. And he does. I get broken back though after playing a game that's honestly not even worth watching. So I'm still up, but 3 2 now. I've been on a streak of mistakes these past points. And and as you can see here, shots like these I should not be missing. I'm down on 40, but a big serves wide saves me temporarily. 1540, another break point. As he wasn't missing as much anymore, I knew I had to be the one to dictate now. So I push him out with the foreign cross and then coincide in and fall to the net. All that's left is just to put the volley away. At 3040, he aggressively returns with the foreign. This was one of his better shots, but I defend well and try to stay deep on the next ball as well. Luckily, he then misses in the net, making it deuce. I start with a serve wide and then go inside out and thank god he misses the pass. Huge hold then and looking to carry the momentum into the next game but he aces me T. Another good T serve by him but this time I get into the rally. This slice was really deep and I think he thought he was going out maybe and he ends up missing because of that. 5-2 is definitely a pretty good spot to be in then. I can play more free and just really try to execute my best tennis without worrying. I even hit a back in here which is kind of stupid because it was an easy ball to slice but nonetheless I get a 4 in next ball and he misses wide. The first set point is enough as I serve big wide and then go free with the foreign to the other side to win 6-2. The second set starts off regularly on serve but I was really determined to take an early lead because we were losing on most of our courts so I was hoping that my momentum would carry over to my teammate. 40-30 and he flashes me with his inside out return putting me in danger at deuce now. I get a bit lucky here with the serve that hits the net but then he returns short and I'm able to get to it and close the four. The next game I'm up below 30 and really scramble to make this return and it turns out pretty good because he can't do much. So I just stick the slicing cross for a little bit until I switch things up and go line with the slice. And yeah I won't be doing that again I think I'll just stick to the foreign from now on. Still 15.30 though and I get a look with this foreign return which is a little bit too short though and he hits the winner off of it. He once again goes wide and to the other side but this time misses long so I had the chances to break him now but ace wide on the first point 
and then miss return on the second point win him the game find myself two all here and now you're gonna see something amazing just wait for it back and cross court and effectively a winner as it's a double bounce how about that big serve and deuce point i hold on with a bit of luck and we're in the rally this high foreign line by him was really supposed to go out but it doesn't so we continue chance I was waiting for I see it and I go for it and he can make it back so I finally got the break now after a couple of chances and I definitely don't want to give it away in this two point I'm trying to do damage with the foreign but he's being more aggressive now and locking me into my back and corner so I have to stay solid I finally find his back on this last slice and he gives in with the back and line this last ball which was honestly very close, but I don't think it caught the line. Even looking at the replay here, and then freezing the frame, it looks like it's just out. So yeah, that was a huge hold. I started the game off with the right foot here, as I push him out wide with the first serve, and then force him to hit a passing shot, which I'm able to read. We get the 30 off, and this point is a must here. I finally close it with this down the line winner. On this point I'm really focusing on moving him. I know I need him to keep going side to side because that's where he's most vulnerable and will miss. I get him on the run with the inside in and he gives in. We just lost a match on court 2 as you could hear from the crowd. So things were not looking great for us overall. I needed to focus obviously but part of me wanted to be quick and finish the match ASAP. I win this rally to go just 2 points away from the match. I get the 1540 after winning 1 point each and the situation is getting critical. As in the meantime we lost another match, meaning we were down 3-0. You will see the scoreboard update in a second here. And this meant one more match lost and I wasn't gonna fit. Safe to say I was in a hurry and this return outside the alley didn't help me get any closer to victory. He serves well at 40-30 too and my return just floats a little too deep. It's deuce point, I'm able to put this return in fairly well given the deflection from the net court. And we get it to neutral rally. Again, I'm rushing here and, and hit a 4 in a mile out. Even though I was tight on time, I knew I ha might have just had the chance to finish this game still if I was lucky. I usually take half an hour between one point and the other, but understandably I was really really fast this game. I wish I could just hit it 3 aces like the pros seem to do every time on TV, but... I just don't serve well enough for that unfortunately. And he obviously chose this game to put no miss mode on. Um, so we played the longest round of the match. He plays a short angle for it and I go for an impossible winner. I honestly just figured it would be better to try in that and end the point at the same time. I go body here honestly hoping we shoot shank. But annoyingly he makes it in. Then he even hits the cross court back and win. <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff on it. I win the next point though, and we're 30 all. At this time, I just follow the short ball and I'm ready for the pass. He luckily missed. First match point, then I try straight away trap into the back and side. But my slice is a bit too slow, and he moves around to find a point. Next to me, the match literally ends as his point is ongoing, and thank God he misses the back and cross. Meaning I snatched the win just in time before the match was called. So, I'm just honestly really happy I got the finish and got the win. I was going to be upset if it was going to be an unfinished because I thought I was in control of the match most of the time. But yeah, still tough to go down as a team. And although Howard is a very good opponent, I think we could have done better. And we need to come back stronger. Make sure you tune in next week as I'm facing my strongest college opponent yet from TCU. With a UTR 14.3. If you want to find out who that is and how the match went, make sure you turn on your post notifications on and wait for next week's video.